Hi guys, welcome back. Hey, uh, go try and do a bit of sea trout fishing. The uh, the weather is uh, it's pretty wet, but usually I tend to find that when it's raining and there's a lot of disruption on the water, I like to think that in the past with my experience of fishing for sea trout, it seems to actually lure them out a little bit more. They seem to be a bit more active. I'm no means an expert, you know that, uh, but I have caught a few sea trout uh, over the few years that I've been fishing for them. And I've always, as I've said, they, when it's raining, it always seems to do a lot better, a lot more success. It's my old rod. Unfortunately, my last session, uh, my Abbey Garcia Dill rod, the tip broke. Uh, that may be down to my own fault. Uh, some people commented, uh, but again, it is what it is. Uh, it's an excuse to get a new rod, I suppose, but I'm going back to the old HTO of finesse. I've got quite a few fair sea trout on it. It's a nice size ones as well. Uh, again, it's a 17 gram rod, the uh, Diaba Crossfire 8 pound line, and I always love using the Super Sprat 12 gram. But yeah, uh, we'll see what happens and uh, we'll start fishing. I thought I'd seen a little rise over to the right of that rock there. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. It could have been uh, sprats, but again, that could be a good sign. Could be a good little place to cast into if it was sprats, because surely fish will be chasing. So, who knows? I'm trying to raise the rod tip up just a little bit more. See if that helps any for keeping it online. But, who knows? If we can get it in, That'll be ideal. That'll be ideal. He's coming. He's coming close to the shore. He's coming close to the shore. Get the net ready. Get the net ready. Oh, netted. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. Lovely creature. It's actually quite long in length. This one. Not a bad size. It's a good start. It's a good start. There we go. Perfect. Right. I have a good feeling. I have a really good feeling. I'll probably continue fishing here for another, I don't know, say another 20 minutes. I'm going to move to my right. I'm just going to keep moving, covering ground, because I think that's essential, to be honest, because sea trout are always on the move, feeding on, when they're feeding, aren't they? have a bit more success, I think, but time will tell. Oh, yes. There we go, guys. Ah, off again, off again. Look at it, look at it, good jump, jumping around. <sighs> so close, so close, so close. Yes, there we go, got it. Yes. Oh, this is a shoal, it's a shoal of sea trout. It's a shoal. Oh, <laughs> see that? That's what happens. That is what happens when you're an amateur like me. It's all fun and games though. That was brilliant. Oh guys, if you're like me and the rain sometimes just gets a bit too much because it is absolutely pouring it down. Because I fished this mark quite a lot and I have done for the last 15 years. I know little hot spots to take cover, as you can see here. As a good example, probably sitting here for 10 15 minutes, let that rain calm down a bit. Well, guys, I managed to squeeze in, uh, not for the claustrophobic people, but uh, it's quite cozy, I suppose. Uh, it's keeping me dry, that's the main thing. Uh, it's also got a little water channel running through, which obviously I'm away from, so I don't get soaked. Also, got some limp limpets here as well, in case I decide to get peckish. <laughs> So, yeah, pretty decent. Oh, there we go. I think... Uh, I think it's a sea trout. It's fighting like a sea trout. Yeah, it's a sea trout, 100%. Oh, yes. Not a bad size. 
ho, ho, ho. Lovely. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Look at that. Oh, look at the power. Look at the power. Look at the power. Oh. Oh. God. Amazing. Oh, it's not a bad size. Yeah, that's a good size. That's a good size. I'm happy at that. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Well, that's not bad. That's not bad. The absolute power in them. <sighs> brilliant. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. See, it's worth fishing out in the rain sometimes. If you're an angler, it's absolutely worth it. Not the biggest, not the biggest, but it's a sea trout. Again, not the biggest, but it'll do. So we'll get this guy back. Here we go. There we go, in again. Another sea trout. We're on the feed tonight. There we go, guys. Another small sea trout, but we'll get it back quickly. Andy's off. Brilliant. Absolutely soaked. But it's worth it, honestly. It's absolutely worth it. Well guys, I'm absolutely soaked, uh, but it was well worth it because that was a brilliant session. Uh, it's one of the best sea trout sessions I've had this year. Uh, and as I said at the start of the video, the rain, the rain seemed to have gave me a lot more success. As I said, I believe that fishing in the rain for sea trout just brings them to the surface. There's a lot more activity. I've always noticed it, uh, but yeah. Absolutely mega. I think that was three or four sea trout to the net, uh, all released obviously. And uh, I missed, I always miss sea trout. So what happens when you use barbless hooks, but in the long run, it keeps the fish healthier, it's easier to get out, and there's no damage, well, there's less damage done to the fish. So, yeah, good session. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.